Sebastian just got into the tub. I already had my bath. It's kind of messy in here. <laughs> Playing Bionicles. I have laundry to put away. And we just got a few books from a neighbor. I don't know if it was yesterday. Yeah, maybe yesterday. Anyway. Hi. Have we talked? Maybe not. Alright. <laughs> we need to start from the beginning. Except now he's calling me. What's up? What do you need? You have a rash on your back? Is it itchy? It's just eczema. You want some cream to after you get out? Yeah. Okay. Got a little eczema on his back. I noticed it a couple days ago and it's, I noticed it was a lot worse, but he hadn't complained until now. Anyway, I started my morning taking the kids to Panera and I make it around the block and my car suddenly freaks out that one of my wheels is like 10 PSI, whatever that is, the, the air measurement, 10 under. And I was getting the low tire alert. <laughs> like, so to stop sign, I messaged Danny and sent him a picture. I was like, it's bad, what do I do? And I have to circle back around, park outside, take a look at it, message him. So he has me meet him at the garage. I'm messaging my friend, saying, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be a little late. We're gonna fill my tire. Luckily, he could fill my tire. I left the house when I was supposed to be there, but got there in 10 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, things are a little difficult when it comes to breakfast at Panera when you're there after 10. We need to get that right at 10 and order right away because their breakfast ends at 10.30 and nobody believes me that it's like this big rush, but it is. We get there and it's like 10.15, I start putting in the order. Sebastian wants to go in with my friend because she orders at the counter and he's putting his mask on and going in. So I'm still putting in the order and it's like 1020 and I'm getting the last sandwich put in. I go to click on the sandwich to put the last egg sandwich in and it blanks out and says, breakfast ends at 1030, unavailable. <laughs> I'm like, what time is it? It was 1020. I'm like, oh man, so get my mask on and I take the phone and I go in and I go to the counter. I have to wait there for a couple minutes before somebody actually comes over. And I'm like, look at my phone. <laughs> Why won't it let me order breakfast? I was in the middle of ordering. I was almost done and it just locked down. She's like, that's funny. You've got eight minutes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I do, but it won't see. So I had to tell the order to her, which was very confusing for me because even pre-pandemic, they used to have like little ordering screens in there and I did it there. I never order out loud. I'm used to just seeing everything listed and all our modifications. So that was thing too that kind of went wrong, but our favorite manager was there. He's so, so sweet. He made sure everything was good. He's even buying jelly to keep there for my friend's daughter who has a lot of allergies and there's no spreads that she can safely eat there now that they've taken away their jelly and say corporate stopped sending it to them. So he's keeping a jar of raspberry jelly for her because she's gonna start coming with us in two weeks in the summer. He's just the best. But anyway, we had a breakfast. Her and I always do our Duolingo because that's just my breakfast thing. So we kind of do that and we chat and we play with the kids. And just relax, I don't film it. And then we just drove home, didn't we? Yeah. We just drove home because we didn't have a lot of time before we had to turn around and go to the library for story time. And what I did was work on learning the app Procreate, which I've had for a little while, but I haven't had a lot of time to work on it. I've been also practicing Adobe Illustrator on the iPad and just getting used to this Apple Pencil in general. But Cass, hi, she sent me a 
tutorial so i was like all right i'll just do this tutorial i got like half of it done in the hour we had lots of interruptions from sebastian but then we quickly pulled together a snack and got ready to go but then of course our bathroom which is falling apart the toilet suddenly is like not flushing randomly because the back tank is completely devoid of water because it's leaking so i go to pee and then i can't flush it so i'm like standing there with the shower sprayer filling up the tank so that i can flush the toilet so we didn't really have a lot of time when we got there they were already setting up outside so we just put our blanket down and inhaled our snack and then there was way too many people it was like three times the people that's normally there and we're gonna have to reevaluate I'm going because I know it's only gonna get worse when the kids go to school. So if we can't sit far enough away to be safe, then we're just not gonna go. That just is what it is. But we did that and then we headed back home again. I got a package. You probably saw I've been trying to find jewelry that fits my aesthetic and it's been a struggle it's been a struggle i can't afford a lot of things the only thing i found is the earrings you might be seeing me wear a lot they're silver with a black rose hanging down i found those on etsy but most things either don't exist or they are like a hundred dollars for one pair of earrings and that's just not in my budget so i ordered from a fast fashion site and i i don't know what to feel about it I don't know that I would again, like 99% of what they have is so not my style. <laughs> this is probably like their Halloween stuff. But all these things were an absurdly low price. And then I got two clothing items that caught my eye. The t-shirt's very large. I got a small and it's just meant to be oversized. It's called oversized t-shirt. I might cut off some of the bottom if it looks like too big, but I'll see. I'm gonna wash it first. The dress is just like, I love it. I've been wanting a little sundress with red flowers to go with my boots and wearing like little shorts under it. It's just, I can be active and oh, I need a hot day now. But yeah, so I unpackaged all those earrings and necklaces and I finally have stuff, like stuff that I would expect to buy at Hot Topic, but they stopped selling all those things. I have my one pair of black moon earrings from Hot Topic that I wear like nonstop because now everything's just like licensed stuff and Harry Potter and Disney and I'm like, where are my spooky skulls and moons? So I now have like all the moon things, all the moth things, so many moths. <laughs> I was like, yes, more moths. They're so cute. I love moths. They're so fuzzy. But yeah, I don't know what to think about that. I did come from probably China and probably will be my last order unless they have all new Halloween stuff. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it, but I'm gonna wear them a lot, that's for sure. So there's that. And then I sat down and painted. I am working out how to do that white fur. It's gonna be a lot of layers. I find it easier when there's a million colors in the fur, so long as I can see it clearly in the photo. I've gotten that technique down, but having only one color in the fur, but still making it look furry, that's tricky. That, that's like next level. So I painted for a while, but then it was five and I didn't want just like all my night to be gone after dinner. So I was like, all right, I'm making dinner, made some spaghetti and we were done around six. Danny has been making progress on his new server and his backup setup. So he was telling me all these different things he'd figured out and I was just really happy to listen and have him feeling good about it. Even if I only understood 75% of it, I understood enough to ask questions about the rest in this closed situation. Hmm. So yeah, I'm glad of that. And he has a four day weekend. I thought he only had a three day weekend because it is Memorial Day here in the United States on Monday, but it sounds like his company gave him four days. We are planning to go to the mall tomorrow because it's almost the end of the month and we haven't done our monthly GameStop credit using the $5 we get. 
so it's gonna be a rainy day so it'll be a good day to take a walk around there i don't know if it's gonna be crazy schools do not have off until monday so hopefully it won't be too bad and our mall is dying it is so sad there's hardly any stores left open so probably fine <sighs> anyway after dinner i took a bath i skipped yesterday so i could take it <laughs> and then i went downstairs and i decided to instead of following another tutorial just do a quick drawing on my own to try to keep some of the things i learned in my brain it's not really showing up on the camera like even saving the picture and sending it to myself the color profile is just not working out and it's looking very muted like when i change rgb to see cmyk in my pr print work like because i used lime green lime green is famous for being great in rgb and terrible in cmyk so it might be that purple and then some purples and i use purple and lime green but i feel like I remembered a lot of the things, the selecting and the tools and the masking and just like it's all stuff I work with but I don't know where it is in that app and how it functions so yeah I feel like I'm making progress. I want to be doing a lot of illustrations. I need to get this in my head. Then yeah just time for bed. It's probably 9 30 so it's probably time for me to get Sebastian out of the tub. Oh, it's 9.32, you gotta start cleaning up, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight, and I will see you tomorrow, so stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.